What is going on guys, welcome to this video, my name is Cameron and this is my video talking about how to pretty much make it through university without making the same mistakes I did. So yeah, I feel like this might help out a lot. As many of you guys know, I recently graduated university and by recently, I mean six months ago. It's December already, I should have made this video a long time ago but I'm making it now so better late than never. So first of all to kick off this video, what is the first thing and probably one of the most important things that I think that you should do in university and that is to start your work immediately and I mean like the first day you get it at least try and knock out like 20% of the work maybe or just a little bit even do some research just to sort of kick it off I ended up thinking oh I, my deadline isn't for another seven months I'll just wait you actually kind of got like three or four or five projects all of them with the same deadline and then you was like oh well I've got another six or seven months let's not do any of that so yeah basically try and start each project like just start it off at first and then leave it for like a few weeks just to kind of get your bearings and everything like that and then when you come back to it you've already done some of the work and you'll remember what you actually did okay Okay, so another important thing in my eyes is to make sure you have good equipment for your university work right off the bat. So for example, when I started university, I got my student loan and obviously you're not supposed to spend your student loan, but I spent my entire loan on a MacBook Pro because I needed it. I needed it for uni and of course it just kind of helped me out with my work at home and stuff. Another thing to do is if, you, if you're on like a film course maybe or maybe just like a, a project in general, buy a fast hard drive, like a super fast hard drive. When you get given a deadline, so for example, say like it's the 25th of December at 4.30 p.m. If you miss the deadline and actually hand in your work at 4.31 p.m., you get an automatic 40%. So there's nothing worse than when you have a really slow hard drive and you finish your work 15 minutes before the deadline and you're like, yes, I can hand in my work. And then what happens is you think, right, I'm gonna transfer this onto a USB and I will hand this USB in. Nope, you press transfer onto that USB and then it says 45 minutes transfer. And you kind of die a little bit inside because you didn't think that part through. Whereas if you have a fast hard drive and a fast USB, when you need to transfer your work onto the USB stick that you're going to hand in, if they're both fast, that transfer time will be like two minutes. And it's amazing. Now, obviously, if you're on a film course like I was, you are dealing with terabytes and terabytes of footage. So you might need a little bit longer than two minutes, but just take into account some of the things that you might not have thought of. So for example, if you're like on maybe a journalism course, maybe you might need to print some paperwork out. Make sure you leave time to print some work out. Or what if the university printer is broke? Make sure you know where a printing shop is like round the corner or something like that so that you can make sure you get your working on time. Also, speaking of equipment, another one which I can kind of technically class as equipment is your backpack or your rucksack or whatever you guys call it. It took me a while to get this, but I actually bought this off Amazon and it fits my laptop, it protects my laptop. It's got like a section for my camera gear at the bottom where it's all protected, it's amazing. It's got like extra pockets and even a phone one on the back and it just comes in handy really well, especially when moving a camera and a laptop in the same backpack to like place to place, it's awesome. So definitely look into buying a good backpack because you're at university for a number of years, so you're gonna need one. But where are you going? Oh. Okay, so this is one that I hold quite close to me because it's helped out so much and that is don't be afraid to talk to your lecturers and when I say talk, I don't mean have a conversation with them. I mean literally, if there's anything troubling you in your personal life or whether you're worried about something with your work or your projects, tell your lecturer because they can help out so much. In my third year when I actually handed in all of my work and I made the deadlines and everything like that, right after I made the deadlines, about a week later, I went to travel Thailand and I actually received an email from my lecturer telling me that I missed a piece of work by mistake that I forgot to hand in. Now could you imagine like I'm in Thailand freaking out because I forgot to hand in a piece of work. But luckily my lecturer completely understood the situation that I couldn't actually get back home. This piece of work that I forgot to hand in wouldn't really have changed my grade too much. So he just straight up told me that it wasn't actually worth worrying about and actually told me to continue enjoying my traveling and not to worry about it, he'll sort it. And I know that seems really pointless but when you actually talk to your lecturers they will go out of their own way to help you get your work. Because if you think about it, their job is to make sure that you get your degree or your diploma or whatever you're going for. And that's why lecturers are awesome. So again, do not be afraid to open up to your lecturers. That's what they're there for. Even if it seems really embarrassing 
just do it you'll feel a million times better now this kind of bounces back to what i said first off with the whole starting your work straight away and everything this one is don't be afraid to stay up all night doing your work like honestly you're a university student you are designed you are destined to at least have a few really really late nights completing your work it just happens i actually remember back in my first year of university i had to do four all-nighters in a row and with like one or two hours sleep in between but there will be a time or a point in your university where you will need to do an all-nighter and just embrace it. I mean, it's part of being a university student. Obviously, try and prepare not to do it. Like, try and do your work on time. Try and make sure, like, you don't have to do an all-nighter. But that's part of the fun of being a university student is that you would go on a night out or you would go to a meal with your friends, maybe, instead of doing your work. And then you'll need to do an all-nighter. But it's really fun and it's part of the university experience. Especially if you're living in, like, student halls or, like, a student accommodation or something like that. Quite a few of you will all be doing all-nighters so you can make friends, you can sort of like all do each other's work or something, I don't know. But yeah, just prepare yourself and know that it's natural. Actually, it might not be, but that was part of my experience a lot. So it's natural now. Uh... Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope this helped you out. Even if it just helps one of you, I am not bothered. Like one of you or a lot of you, just either way, at least I made someone's university experience a little bit more less terrifying. Guys, let me know in the comments below what course you are studying at university. I mean, it'd be interesting to hear what other courses all you guys are doing. And if you have any questions that maybe I haven't covered in this video, let me know and maybe I can help you out in the comments below. But yeah, so hit the subscribe button if you like these videos, if you like me as a person. And obviously hit the like button. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I love making them. I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.